All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Look at this one. Tell me. Looks like a fish? Your wealth may be from Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
another in the bridge and keep him there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
was that? Said it. Foo bar and that song. Christ, another body. Wonder who it is. Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on deck. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. God, no. Charlie!
Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Sometimes you will be determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. 
But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. Cool. Well, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy, I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. 
Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Wanna crack the colon with Every second. Ha. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Way less needy. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time? Yeah, of course. The whole reason we're out here is to spend time together. Well, I think it'll be perfect. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pigs. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. Oh, hot diggity dog. I'm gonna go Look help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Alex, come here. I think we got something. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Guys, look, I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 it's not, I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive, generously, we're diving. The client. But if anything goes wrong. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. 
it's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hmm. This doesn't look kosher. Excuse me, <laughs> what I do is hard work. And hardly working. Yeah, you should What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Desperate pickup bullshit. Uh, desperate? Look, I could charm the fish from the sea, sister. Just you wait. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. I'm gonna kick back and uh, enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Hey, at least I'm honest. <laughs> this only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. I want to just let it do its thing. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Seems like Conrad's the only one who respects the hierarchy around here. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble.
Take a look. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zing. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. I got a bang stick. Good to oh, go. I heard that about you. Ha ha. Just remember the rules, you ever have to use please. one? On a shark? Nope. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Captain, you fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh-oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here.
Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast. Over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sunken wreck in this vicinity. Over. Any tampering with a wreck, identified or not, will result in prison or a fine or both. Over. Roger that. Thank you. Over. Duke of Milan. Duke of Milan, are you reporting a finding? What is the nature of this call? Over. We'll have a full report when we return to shore. Over. Reminding you that you are not to enter any wreck without an official dive dossier from the Offshore Relics Registry. Over. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack, you're out cold. That makes no sense. You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Go for Julia. What's up? Just checking everything is a-okay. Designer gear is holding up in all that cheap water. Just be careful. Those wrecks can be highly unstable. Hey, Fliss, we got this, okay? Just take it easy. Okay, we're down here. Gonna explore. Over and out. Hey, Fliss, look, there's a boat. What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Guys, you 
You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Let's go. No! I guess they didn't need the money. You are an idiot. What? They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot! You got a funny way of saying thank you, Conrad. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work, I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm, hashtag wink. Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. <laughs> oh, fuck! <sighs> Son of a bitch. Uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. You know you can think before you do something stupid, right? It's an option. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, 
certain. I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, Mano. Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice spring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. And I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Oh crap, this badge. Conwin Island. I was totally right. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> Sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Congratulations again, dude. Seriously, I'm really happy for you guys. Can't believe I actually did it. You got the nap pad, Dive Master J? Oh, no, not yet. I'm sorry, can you just give us a moment here? Julia, I'm just trying to have a chat with my brother, if you don't mind. Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be memorable, just not that memorable. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Ratter for Brayson Lee. You got a girlfriend? Uh, yeah, I do. I, well, I mean, I, I did. Uh, broke up with her, though. Just too much to handle. Women, right? <laughs> hmm, yeah, women. They exist. You're correct. They definitely exist. Especially the one you just broke up with. That one, for sure. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. 
Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? There was more down there. We didn't see it. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew was from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. You shouldn't have taken anything from the wreck. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. OK. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. It's hey, old. super twist. Nice. Nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Give me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. We have to get free right now. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. 
Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Treat a lady right. Stop! Please just stop. Slow down. Easy. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you! Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. Uh. Did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. OK, they're coming. wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just 
Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? He's okay. All right. Shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Sit still, all of you. You, 
come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Well, you seem to have already suffered a casualty. That was a bold move. Not smart, but bold. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Okay, you're in agreement. Clue it is. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress...
I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. 